三藩市美亚医疗集团，拥有超过一百七十位华人专科医生同会员服务团队，用你最熟悉嘅语言，为你提供贴心周到嘅医疗服务。免费登记，成为我们嘅会员啦！美亚医疗，你嘅健康良伴。Did you know that healthy lifestyle changes not only prevent but also control diabetes, hypertension, or high cholesterol? In addition, medication cannot replace the important role of healthy lifestyle. If you are interested in learning some proven methods of controlling these three common conditions, you have come to the right video. We will teach you how foods can help prevent or manage your conditions through functional diet planning. Diabetes, hypertension, and high cholesterol are common conditions which are closely related and are considered metabolic syndromes. Metabolic syndrome is a condition linked to obesity, overweight, and physical inactivity, and often increases the risk of heart disease and stroke. Learning how to plan a balanced and healthy diet is a foundation for prevention and management of these conditions. Carbohydrates are big players in meal planning. Did you know that there are two types of carbohydrates, and the type you eat impact your blood sugar, cholesterol, or blood pressure? One of these types is simple carbohydrates, which are found naturally in foods such as white bread, white rice, cookies, orange juice, and soda. Because of its simple structure. The body is able to break it down and absorb it quickly, which causes a rise in blood sugar. Do you know what kind of foods directly raise your blood sugar after meals? There are thousands of type of foods, and some foods containing carbohydrates such as sugar, grains, dairy, and fruits are broken down into glucose after digestion. Once glucose is absorbed in our bloodstream, the glucose levels rise. The pancreas secretes insulin, which helps carry glucose from the bloodstream into the cells for energy. However, people with metabolic syndrome are unable to use insulin properly, which means glucose is unable to enter cells, causing glucose to build up in our bloodstream. Therefore, people with high blood sugar need to control carbohydrate intake in each meal. On top of that, simple carbohydrates can also increase triglycerides and LDL levels because they are high in sugar and low in fiber. Excess carbohydrate can be converted into fat and may result in overweight, which increases the risk of high cholesterol and hypertension. The second type of carbohydrates is complex carbohydrates, which are high in fiber and have more nutrients. They can be found in whole wheat bread, brown rice, whole wheat pasta, quinoa, vegetables, and fruits. Compared to simple carbohydrates, the body takes a longer time to break down its high fiber content, which can increase satiety and prevent overeating. It may also lower bad cholesterol, blood glucose, blood pressure, and increase good cholesterol. Now that you have learned some basic information about carbohydrates, here are some interesting facts. Did you know vegetables contain carbohydrates too? These include potatoes, sweet potatoes, corn, pumpkin, peas, and taro. These vegetables are known as starchy vegetables, which provide beneficial nutrients to our body. But be careful, as overconsumption may increase your blood sugar level. Resistant starch is a type of starch that your body can't break down easily. It acts like a fiber and slows glucose absorption, improves insulin sensitivity, helps manage weight, and prevents colon cancer. This can be found in foods such as green bananas, cooled overnight rice, raw potato, cool overnight potato salad. Cool overnight pasta salad, and cool overnight Japanese soba noodles. The suggested amount to eat to maximize the benefits of fiber is at least 25 grams of fiber per day for women, 38 grams for men. A typical single serving of fruits or vegetable provides an average of 3 to 5 grams of fiber. For example, one serving of vegetable equals one cup of raw leafy green vegetables, or one half cup of raw or cooked vegetables. 
Choosing variety of vegetables provides you many essential nutrients such as vitamin K, vitamin A, potassium and folate. One serving of fruit equals one medium apple, one small banana, and one half cup of 100% fruit juice. Keep in mind that fruit juice doesn't have added sugar. In addition to fiber, we also can get other key nutrients such as vitamin C and potassium. You should limit sodium intake to 2300 mg per day. For comparison, one teaspoon of salt equals 2400 mg of sodium. Some studies have shown that excess sodium intake may increase insulin resistance and incidence of cardiovascular disease. You may be thinking your food will lose all flavor if cooked without salt. However, there are many other herbs and spices that you can use as a substitute or alternative for salt. These contain more antioxidants, minerals and vitamins than in some fruits and vegetables. Try to enrich your foods with spices like ginger, garlic, cumin, lemon, or cinnamon. Do you know if you are eating the right fat? People with diabetes, hypertension and high cholesterol need to limit saturated and trans fat to prevent the rise of LDL and triglycerides level. Limit saturated fatty acid intake less than 10% of total calories per day. It can be found in coconut oil, butter, and fatty meats. Excess intake can clog the arteries and increase the risk of cardiovascular disease. Limit or avoid trans fat intake such as pizza, egg custard, cookies, and cake. It may increase LDL cholesterol and triglycerides levels, which increase the risk of diabetes, heart disease and stroke. While shopping in the grocery store, we can choose healthy fat sources such as sesame oil, olive oil, avocado, tuna, salmon, walnuts, almonds and soy. These increase good cholesterol and may improve cardiovascular health. What cooking method do you usually use? Boiling, steaming and baking are considered to be used as healthy cooking methods, as they tend to use less fat in the cooking process. Now, let us guide you to create a healthy and balanced meal. Before eating, start with a clear broth soup or dairy to avoid overeating. First, fill and eat half of your plate with different colored non-starchy vegetables such as string beans, broccoli, mushroom, black fungus, carrots, and collard greens. Second, fill and eat a quarter of your plate with a recommended 3 to 4 ounces of lean protein per meal such as chicken, black beans, beef, fish, lamb, or turkey. Third, fill and eat a quarter of your plate with starch such as rice, noodle, pasta, bread, taro, potatoes or pumpkins. We recommend to eat in this order because fat and protein take longer to digest than carbohydrates. Prioritizing these items help make you feel full without raising your blood sugar and overeating. It also helps stimulate GLP-1 secretion. Now you may be asking, what is GLP-1? GLP-1 is a hormone that increases insulin secretion which is necessary for cells to use glucose for energy. The hormone is released from the small intestine due to eating. In addition to increasing insulin sensitivity, it slows down the rate at which food leaves the stomach, lowers glucose production from the liver, increases glucose uptake, and reduce appetite. Foods such as whole wheat products, nuts, avocado, and eggs help stimulate GLP-1 secretion. They are rich in monounsaturated fatty acid, polyunsaturated fatty acid and short-chain fatty acids. They promote beneficial outcomes in healthy individuals as well as individuals with type 2, diabetes, hypertension or high cholesterol. To better manage your disease, you can set a short-term goal. For example, try to include two kinds of vegetables with dinner each night. Make sure your meals are nutritious by choosing a variety of vegetables and fruits, whole grains and healthy fats. We hope that watching this video helps you better manage your disease and improve your health. If you have further nutrition questions, Please don't hesitate to ask your physician to refer to dietitians who are experts in food and nutrition.
For more information about diabetes and other health topics, visit the AAMG Health Education website.